So okay, in the last tutorial, we learned how to write uh, your name in light. And in this tutorial, I'm basically just going to show you one more technique, which is basically um, getting light to follow a mask path. So I'm just going to start with a new composition. And I'm just going to uh, create a composition 1280 by 720 uh, frame rate, maybe 30 frames, and uh, duration 228. That's fine. So I'm just going to create a solid um, and I'm going to create a mask path. So imagine this is the path that we want uh, the light effect to follow. I'm just going to create something random here like that. So you might have this kind of predefined path that, that you want to use and then you want the light to kind of follow this path. Okay, so next I'm just going to create a particular layer. Just call it part, make it a slightly different color. Okay. And I'm going to apply a trap code particular. You can download a trial. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm just going to choose particular and we get this basic emitter as always. So next I'm going to create the null. So the null, I'm just going to move to the side here and I'm going to hit Y to move the anchor because I like the anchor in the center. I'm going to hold down control as I move it and it snaps to the middle. I'm going to hit V to go back to select. And we have, so we now have this null object with a centered anchor. So uh, next I'm going to click on the null and hit P. So this is the null position property and I'm going to go to the mask path we created, which is on this solid here. Masks, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to click mask path, literally the text here. And I'm going to go to edit copy. And then I'm going to click on the position of the null and go edit paste. As you can see now, the null is following the path, except the keyframes are all the way over here. That's no problem because we can just drag the keyframes. They kind of bend and flex. Well, they flex. So I'm just going to make it cover the full duration of the animation. I'm just going to turn off particular for now. And you can see that the null is following the mask path. I'm just going to change the color. Make it dark. Okay. So you can see the null following the mask path. You can also edit this path if you wish using the tangent handles. And if you want to move the whole thing, um, just literally click position on the text and then just kind of grab it and you can move the whole thing if you like. Okay, so I'm just going to work with this and you'll remember from the last tutorial, all we have to do is just uh, go to the emitter in particular, position XY, alt click, stopwatch. We get the pick whip down here. This is basically just reflected down here as well. And then we take the pick whip and link it to the null position. Let go, click away from it, and turn on particular. And as you can see now, it's following the mask path that we defined because it's attached to the null. So the null is attached to the path and particular is attached to the null. And as usual, if you want to make this a line, just simply go to velocity and turn them all down to zero. I'm just going to go to full. And we get a line effect. If you want to close these gaps, you just increase the particles per second. Uh, to get the light effect, just particle, particle type streaklet. Make it a bit bigger, like that. Get the kind of iPod effect. Choose a dark color, maybe a dark blue. Transfer mode, choose add. And we get that light trail effect, which is pretty cool. And then you can play with opacity over life, um, all kinds of properties. You can add some turbulence in the physics down here. But um, I went into that in the last tutorial, so I'm just going to keep it simple and end the tutorial here. Effect position is always a good one. Let me just play this back and that will be the end of this tutorial. And as you can see, we've got this cool light effect and it's following the predefined path. I'm not sure when you'll have to use this technique, but you never know. It's just good to know how things kind of link together. So that's the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching.
and please share this and subscribe. Thanks.